In question number eight, we're told a rectangular room has a width of x meters. The length of a room is four meters longer than its width. Given that the perimeter of a room is greater than 19.2 meters, in part eight for three marks, we need to show that x is greater than 2.8. So let's just draw a quick sketch of the room. What we have is a rectangle. We have now a width of x, so x is just here, and we have a length of x plus four. So an expression for the perimeter would be two lots of x plus four plus two lots of x. We can now say that two lots of x plus four plus two x is greater than 19.2. So two lots of x plus four plus two x will be greater than 19.2. Expanding the brackets, we'll have two x plus eight plus two x is greater than 19.2. I'm going to subtract 8 from both sides. So on the left, we're going to have 4x is going to be greater than 11.2. Dividing both sides of the inequality by 4, x is going to be greater than the 2.8 required. So that's part A done for three months. It now says, given also that the area of the room is less than 21 meters squared, in part B for four months, we first have to write down an inequality in terms of x for the area of the room and then in the second part, solve this inequality. We can say that the area is going to be equal to the length times the width, or x multiplied by x plus 4. We know that this is less than 21 metres, so we can say that 21 is greater than x multiplied by x plus 4. So this is an inequality, and we can go ahead and solve this. So what I'm going to do here is expand the brackets on the right-hand side of the inequality we'll have x squared plus 4x. I'm going to subtract 21 from both sides of the inequality. We've got x squared plus 4x minus 21. I can factor this quadratic inequality. I'll have x plus 7, and then I'll have x minus 3. This gives me critical values of minus 7 and positive 3. I'm interested now when this is going to be less than 0. So if we go ahead and do this, what we'll have now are our critical values. So we'll have minus 7, which I'll put just here, so minus 7, and then we'll have just here positive 3. So our parabola looks something like so, and then we're interested in this when it's less than 0. Now if we just think about this, in terms of the algebra, this is telling me that x is going to be greater than minus 7, yet in turn less than 3. x is a length, though. So x is going to have to be greater than 0, yet in turn less than 3. We can't have a negative x, as, or 0 in fact, as we'd have either a straight line or we'd have a non-rectangle. We can't have a negative. So this would be my answer. I think you're going to get awarded for either of these, but this would be the answer. In part c, it says, hence, find the range of possible values of x. Well, we know it's definitely between 0 and 3 but we need to satisfy both of the inequalities. So for one mark, I'm simply going to write down that x is going to be greater than 2.8, and that was the information we got from the perimeter, yet in turn is less than 3, which is what we got from the area. So this is open for debate. I certainly believe that x has to be between 0 and 3, but I'm sure you'll get awarded for marks if you put minus 7 to 3.